I know you're sitting there going, I have never thought about Musaka this much in my life. I've never felt the need to go on somebody's video and comment about Musaka. It's just never come up. But hey, here we are. Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wee Hours here, back with some more Supermarket Simulator where I'm blowing the last of my money on toilet paper. That's it. I got 27 bucks left, but hopefully this is kind of all the vague things that I need around here. I'm just going to crack the place open right now because we desperately need to be making some money. Hey kids, I got some boxes of toilet paper for you here. I know you love this sort of thing. Which one of you will be carrying the light box and which one will be carrying the heavy box? Hey JC, welcome back. I've got some dishwashing tablets for you here. If you wanted to wash your dishes, that's kind of a thing you can do now. No? Okay, have a wonderful cereal day, Jay-Z. I got pasta here. Hang on, pasta's got to go down here. There we go, pasta for you. And I got another box of pasta because we're always selling the pasta around here. Put it down here that's probably raw chicken right next to it okay i have no money however we are up to speed on moussaka now so although i do record these in advance i'm now up to speed on moussaka apparently it's sort of a lasagna thing and there's like pasta and meat and then somehow sour cream is involved i'm not really sure how that all goes together. Ma'am, are you getting some moussaka? Because I know what it is now. Now you're going to grab a bottle of water. Okay, have a wonderful cereal day and a good moussaka day if you're into that kind of thing. So the moussaka, I feel, should go with the scallops because I've been, I've been thinking a lot about the scallops. I have, it's true. I've been thinking a lot about the scallops. I believe these are scalloped potatoes, not scallops. Okay, so scallops, that's a seafood, all right? I love scallops. They're fantastic. They're hideously expensive, but they're so, so tasty. Scallop potatoes, which I also love, by the way, because I love any potato product. You can put potatoes in any format, and I will eat it. Potatoes are basically nature's most perfect and versatile food. We were at a family dinner once, me and Mrs. Dave, and, well, Mrs. Dave's family, because it was a family dinner. And the theoretical question came up, sort of an after-dinner party game, if you will, of if you could only be on a desert island and have one food. You can have one food food for the rest of your life. That's it. What would you have? And Mrs. Dave immediately said, are we able to create it in any way we want, or are we stuck with it in one format? To which my father-in-law said, hmm, that's an interesting question. And he said, you can create it in any way you want. And she immediately said, potato. Because a potato, you can do... This is really getting away from the Musaka question, I know. But the, I feel that these are scalloped potatoes. All right. So really, those should go with the moussaka, because what we're what we're putting together here is kind of a, a prepared frozen dinner fridge. And that's it's not frozen. I know it's not going in a freezer. I don't know why these are in a fridge. They should absolutely be in the frozen dinner section and therefore be frozen. But I, I feel we should create like a frozen dinner thing going on here. So we're going to have meat and seafood. I know the canned tuna should not be over here because it's in a can. It could actually go on the shelf. The canned tuna should be over here. Um, but we're going to have meat and seafood over here. We're going to have cartony things over here. Apple juice, milk, and the, and the orange juice. Eggs a go-go plus butter. And then the cheese case. I think I'm out of another. I'm out of another cheese. These people go nuts for the cheese. And I'm out of the, uh, the yogurt there, too. I'm almost out of yogurt. The freezers are looking good. Okay, hang on. We've also got new tea and new sugar and new pasta that I haven't put together yet. I've really got to renegotiate a lot of things. Why did I come in here? Oh, yeah, cheese. Right, cheese. Uh, so you know what? Just the, Everybody loves the cheese. Get one of all the cheeses. And where did the yogurt go around here? It's somewhere. There we go. Add the yogurt in here, too. Okay. 75 bucks. I've got 500. Right on. Let's get the pasta and then the brown sugar. I'm going to hold off on the tea for a couple of reasons. One, it's tea. Nobody wants that. Two, I don't really have a great spot for that. I've got kind of an idea. I'm going to need a whole sugar shelf, which by the way is super fun to say. Try it at home. Sugar shelf. It just, oh my god, it, you just want to chant that down the street. Hey, how are you doing? Sugar shelf. It's just, it's great. I need a sugar shelf. So I need to get the flour out of here. I need the flour to go somewhere else. Oh, we're out of the, we're out of the, whatever that pasta is there. The blue pasta. That's all. And we're, oh my god, we're out of cereal. We're out of the bee cereal. Hang on, I gotta get the bee cereal in here. It's got bees in it. 
Okay, that's my new brown sugar there, so I'm going to leave that. And that is the cheese. That can go in storage. The kids can take care of that. They know where the cheese goes. Wow, storage is basically empty. I need one of everything. And that's the mozzarella. Okay, good. So the kids can take care of that. Off you go, kids. There you go. It's getting dark. i got to turn the lights on in here because I'm the only one who can turn the lights on. It's basically like I'm a god. Okay, what was I doing? Okay, the sugar shelf. All right, the sugar shelf. I have, I'm out of spaghetti. Actually, I could put the new tea down here. That would still make sense. Coffee, tea, and then, unfortunately, more tea. Actually, I'm pretty sure I've got other coffee. Don't I have other coffee that I could be ordering around here? What time is it? Quarter of eight? I can still get this ordered. So, yeah, I've got light roast coffee, and I've got green tea. Sure, why not? Yeah, that'll be perfect. I didn't actually... Oh, that was the peanut butter shelf. Well, dang, I'm out of peanut butter. Where could the peanut butter live? Peanut butter could live maybe over by the honey, and I could remove one of the disgusting room temperature milk. We're out of potatoes. We're out of everything. I got no candy. I got nothing going on here. So this is the green tea. I'm going to replace. Somebody's going to have to remind me that I don't have peanut butter on the shelf anymore. Okay, everybody fill up the comments with, I don't have peanut butter on the shelf anymore. Not just for engagement, although that really, really counts and really helps, but seriously, remind me that I don't have peanut butter on the shelf anymore. What I need to do is move that coffee. I should have I should have saved that box. I bet that was the same size for coffee. Okay, I'm gonna just throw this down here as a terrible trip hazard. And then I have no money. Well, I mean, I've got the money, but I'm gonna have to spend all of that on restocking everything tomorrow morning because I have nothing at all. I think, I think it's time for a new shelf and a big renegotiation of what's going on around here. Also, would somebody buy that last scallop thing, please? Early the next morning and me and the kids are just frantically stocking up here. I'm trying to get everything that I need over there. I've still got my new sugar over there. This, this is all going to be fine. I'm going to make all of this happen somehow. So that was all cakes and candies that I ordered for this shelf over here. Down here, I need that milk, but I could, gen I could then use that space for something else. I'm definitely renegotiating this place. Potatoes, room temperature milk. Once again, people are bleaching literally everything. Shampoo and toilet paper. It's always the toilet paper. Let's at least get the place open and get started here. I'm really hoping everyone is seriously under-caffeinated today, and they're all going to come in and buy the coffee. I mean, I suppose I could just turn... Nah, I, I just... I want to renegotiate everything. I'm just not happy with where anything is. Uh, don't put this in storage, because I actually want to handle that one myself. The shampoo can definitely go in storage. Yeah, you having fun with that one huge box with one roll of toilet paper in it? Yeah, don't work too hard, kid. All right, what have I got? About 400 bucks? Okay, uh, this case is looking moderately okay for the most part. I don't really have anything to put in there. That's salmon, tuna, the steaks, the veal. I could use some more of the... What's that? The large sushi? I think that's the large sushi. And then whatever... Oh, potatoes. It's always the potatoes and chicken. Chicken and potatoes. Okay, raw chicken right next to the raw seafood. Totally fine and absolutely 100%. Food safe. That's what I that's what I give to my customers. Food poisoning. All the time. That's my room temperature milk. That's my other sugar. I don't want the kids to do that. I want to do it myself. I need somebody to buy these two bags of coffee, and then I can put the different coffee in there. I don't have a box. I should really start saving the boxes. Um, while I'm here, actually, I can stock up a few things myself. Uh, what do I have here? Is that is that apple juice or orange juice? Put that there. Uh, that has an orange on it. Okay, well, the orange juice is already stocked up. The kids are doing great work there. So what you, uh, what you get in there? Yeah, you got the chocolate bars a little too expensive. Well, that's a you problem, not a me problem. You're just getting one rip-off Sprite. Okay, thank you. No, I'm doing customer service, sir. It's cu customer service. Have a wonderful cereal day. You see how you feel better now and you want to come back to my store? You don't? Do I have a box of apple juice around here somewhere? Like one of these has got to be apple. Yeah, that's apple. Okay, I want to get this one apple juice out of here and then we can make that the the soda place so put that there there's something else i was out of was it fries fries i'm out of fries fries and the regular soda if i can if i'm quick i can just get this in in time so soda there 
and then the fries way down here somewhere. There we go. Fries, excellent. Did I ever order moussaka? The moussaka question continues. I should probably wrap the question up quickly because time is running out here, but order some moussaka. I don't think I've actually ordered any. We talked about it at length in a, in a manner in which you've probably never talked about moussaka before. Did I? I just pretended I ordered that, didn't I? I know you're sitting there going, I have never thought about moussaka this much in my life. I've never felt the need to go on somebody's video and comment about moussaka. It's just never come up. But hey, here we are. Here we are. We're talking about moussaka. We've got some in our hands. Now, what is going to be... I just I just want a new fridge. My God, we're out of the, the sushi again. Put that over there. Okay, the... Boy, I wish I could zoom in on these... I really do. I'm I'm having a I'm struggling a little bit. I'm struggling a little bit to figure out which sushi that is, but I'm gonna give it a shot. You know what? Worst case scenario, I'll just order both of them. I'm pretty sure it's the large one. 145 bucks. I'm closed. All right, I'll get it tomorrow. Yeah, I think I just want a new fridge, and then I could have like prepared meals fridge. The moussaka and the scallops could live over there. And then I've still got an empty space down here. We'll come up with some kind of other dairy item at some point. Hey, did anyone ever buy those last coffees? Oh my god, they did. Oh, fantastic. Where's my where's my new coffee? It's over... No, that's the sugar. That goes on the sugar shelf. Oh, I left it over here as a trip hazard. Right, 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 right. Uh, close the place. I don't want anyone buying this yet. So this is now going to be whatever kind of coffee that is. Uh, just put that down there for now. Let me get a price on this thing before somebody tries to buy it. You're saying eleven ninety one. How about eleven ninety nine for that coffee? All right, there you go. Perfect. And then over in this fridge, I want to put this as a second shelf of soda. There we go. Okay, so sodas and bottled water. Perfect for that fridge. That fridge finally makes sense. So somebody was saying in the comments that I'm not paying my bills. I just saw it flash up in the corner there. The bills are paid automatically. I don't I don't have to click anything for that. They're just being automatically paid. I, I don't think there's any interaction or mechanic I need to do with that. Wow. Okay, we, we got gutted. What What was that? I really need to be able to zoom in on this. Okay, that's tuna. That was salmon. I remember that was salmon. Okay. So I kind of need a lot of my meat and seafood stuff. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to order a case of peanut butter because I'm not going to remember to get that. Uh, get out all of the pastas because we always need that. Why did I come in here? Oh, the tuna. I need the, the cans of tuna, which mysteriously live in a fridge. 500 bucks right out of the gate. Although about a third of that was that sushi. Yeah, I'm just going to get a fridge. I'm just going to order a fridge, just a, the, the regular size. Give me fridge A, please. Order that. Thank you very much. I'm going to start to begin to put together my vaguely prepared meals thing that I have going on, which is basically going to be moussaka and scalloped potatoes. But hey, here we are. Let's get this guy to tuck right in, in there. There we go. So you, you're my moussaka. That's milk. I know what milk is. Do I need any milk while I'm standing right here? No, I'll go put this in storage for the kids. I just got a warning. I'm selling a product without setting its price. What did I... The only new thing I put up was the coffee thing, right? And I definitely set a price for that. Black tea is too expensive for you. We'll have coffee. It's better for you. What did I put up that was new? Not the salmon, right? No, the salmon's fine. The salmon's totally fine. Uh, set the price. Yeah, it's it's totally fine. We're making like three three sixty on that. Huh. Oh, this is this is also quite slightly off key there. No, 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 no. Better. Uh, let me know in comments if you have any idea what I did, because usually that's the people who know what I did. I don't. The only new thing that I put up was that new coffee. I'm not, and I definitely set a price on that. I don't know why that pop up came up. Maybe I'm sure I've put something up and I've totally forgot to set a price on it. That's exactly what I would do all day, every day, twice on Tuesday. Well, again, it's because I don't have a lot going on on Tuesdays. It's a very, very boring day. So if I was going to do something silly, I might do it twice on Tuesdays just because I'm a little bored. Okay, let's see what I can do over here. Well, I got to get the regular coffee for a start. And it looks like we're light on the chocolate cereal. Are you stock Oh, you're stocking that up now. Okay. And that looked like the last one, though, because you got an empty box there. So chocolate cereal. We are a cereal-based store. Let's not forget our base here. All right, let's not forget our customers 
and what they're really coming in for, which is handcrafted cereal made in the Bavarian forest using ancient techniques. What else was I in here for? Oh yeah, the coffee, right, coffee. Okay, good, get some coffee in there, perfect. Okay, thank you. All right, I'm trying to conserve as much money as possible. I'm not really sure why. I don't have a specific idea on something that I'm gonna do next, but I just wanna kinda hold on to my money here. I'm trying not to spend literally everything. Here's some more cereal for you guys. Have a wonderful cereal day. Oh, what a surprise, we're completely out of cheese. Oi, with the cheese around here, you guys and your cheese, just get all the cheese. If it's cheese-like, just get it. And you know what? Actually, while I'm here, we may as well start restocking the eggs, because we go through those pretty quickly. So all the cheese, all the eggs, we're just going to restock the dairy case. Okay, a vague plan is beginning to come together here. I'm going to order another shelf. Ah, darn it! Just missed it. Just missed it. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. So I've got a vague plan coming together here. Another shelf, because I'm almost out of all of this stuff. I got three powdered sugars of a sort, three sugars, and salt that I happen to be out of right now. now I'm going to put another shelf together that will have three sugars and salt. But I'm going to want to move some stuff around here. What if we move the candy shelf over by the cleaning products, because that's what kids love. They love candy and bleach. They're just totally... So I should put those two things together. Candy and bleach. Oh, the parents are just going to go nuts for this. My God, that is so convenient. My kid loves candy and bleach. Thank you for putting those together, except I can't quite squeeze it in over there. All right. Before I order anything at all, I want to figure out what I'm going to do here. I couldn't quite move the candy shelf. Let's see if we can make that happen again. What if we move... What else goes with bleach? I mean, seafood, obviously. Seafood. I'm clearly ordering the wrong sushi, because my man isn't stocking up here. So I'm ordering the wrong sushi. Just get the other one. Whichever one you think you're ordering, just get the other one, Dave. Oh, by, by the way, buy that other shelf. Well, you know what? It'll be in the cart when you get there. So all the way down to here. So we need, you know what? We kind of need a little bit of everything. I'm going to spend some money here. So get both of the sushis. I think it's this one that I'm not ordering. Okay. Wow. $1,200. But a lot of that is in that shelf. Well, no, that's not true. Only $200 of that is in that shelf. Let me begin the grand renegotiation here. Right, I'm going to move the cleaning products down to the corner here. So like that. Does that make sense? Yeah, I like that. Okay, so bleach and pizza. Perfect. I'm going to move the candy aisle over here, and we're going to put the soda thing next to it, because that just kind of makes sense. So get that guy to go right over there, and give me my soda fridge. I've never been happy with that thing sitting there. I love the idea of, like, an impulse item. Hey, maybe a future update for Supermarket Simulator, we could see some other different size shelves, like a really small one for just impulse stuff right here, like a tiny little shelf you could put stuff on. That'd be super. And then I gotta go get my other shelf. I know you guys got nothing to do. We're not opening yet, okay? It's gonna be a while before we get open. I've got a lot to do. If you guys wanted to chip in, what do you mean it's not your job? Everything is your job. You're employed here. Everything... Don't give me that I'm solely a cashier. That's what you're paying me for. Okay? Maybe you chip in a little bit there and I'll put the tip jar back out. So I said this was going to be sugar and salt. Okay. Sugar and salt. Give me a sugar. No, that is sushi. i uh, tell you what. I'll put this in here for the kids. There you go. Uh, apparently that's not the... Oh, it is the one we needed. You're, you're doing something. Okay, there's one sugar. So let me get this over here, and we'll put this guy, like, down here. Okay, one sugar in there. Now, is this the same size box for this? Ah, darn it! Darn it, darn it, darn it! Okay, I can solve that problem. Get another box of that. Put that over here. You see what I'm doing here? You see what I'm doing here? And then we're going to go get the other sugar. See, every now and then I come up with a semi-decent idea. Okay, salt is going to live up on the top shelf up here. And then I got to go either clear the labels on the other side or just put something different there. Um, do I have... Nope, those are steaks. Don't put that with the sugar. That doesn't make any sense, Dave. Still got to find a home for the peanut butter. That's the room temperature milk. Uh, this is, this is my other sugar. Okay, good. 
This is exactly what I wanted. So this is going to live right over here. Oh, people are going to be so sweetened by the time I'm done with them. Now, you don't need any extra sugar for my handcrafted cereal made in the Bavarian forest using ancient techniques. It's sugary enough, I assure you. Look at that bear giving you the thumbs up. That's a bear who's had a lot of sugar. This is all sugar. P.S. I've got to order the B cereal. But if you did want some extra sugar, boy, have I got you covered now. So where is my... There we go. I uh, Get two boxes of the B cereal. It seems to be doing very well. And then get boxes of the regular cereal too. Again, we got to stick to our base here. We can't disappoint people by having them come in and they're like, dude, I came all the way over here for some handcrafted cereal from the Bavarian forest using ancient techniques. And like, there's no cereal here. And I'm like, well, we've got a steak. And he's like, no, I didn't come in for a steak, did I? I came in for handcrafted cereal made in the Bavarian forest using ancient techniques. I heard it was artisanal. And I'm like, no, artisanal is actually basically a made up word. Nobody knows what that means. It's just when they put things on Etsy. All right, that is shelf number one, side one, covered. I don't know what's going to go in here, but it would be a great place to start putting the peanut butter back in. See, don't actually delete your comment, but I have figured out the peanut butter. So if you commented on peanut butter, I got it. Also remember to set a price on the new sugar there. How about $6.99 on that? Okay, I'll make a couple of bucks on that. All right, I've got some more stuff ordered here that I've got to get into the stock room so the kids can take care of it. I know, that, I know, I know. Put it there. Somebody want to get on that? Okay, thanks, man. Yeah, it's oil. We got to keep people oiled up and slippery around here. It's not a good day in this town unless you are heavily caffeinated, full of sugar, and very, very slippery. I'm going to clear the salt one down there. I need all of the pastas and the expensive flour. And then I want to see if there's anything I haven't started ordering yet. I only got 800 bucks left after all of this. So all of the pastas and the expensive flour. Where's the expense? Where's the good flour? There it is. I see it. And then all the pastas. Ah, there is a different bottled water. I should have thought of that when I was setting up that soda rack there. Okay, I'll maybe sell down on one of them and then put something new in there. Ah, there's another pasta. Oh, perfect. That'll go great for the new pasta shelf that I've just created. Oh, well done, delivery guy. Oh, this is a good one today. Oh, well done to you, sir. This is my new pasta. Okay, so let's put that right up maybe, well, down where the salt used to live because there's no reason to change all the other labels. So put the pasta down there. And then we're not even open. Nobody's going to come in and buy this yet. We've been, I mean, the door has been open for like a game day right now, but the kids are just hanging out doing basically nothing. Sparky's having the best work day ever. You're saying five bucks. How about $4.99 on that? $4.98. I misclicked. You know what? That's fine too. Okay. I think I can start to get set up on my prepared meals thing over here. Yeah, Musa, it does look like lasagna, doesn't it? It just looks like a bunch of stuff that you mashed together and formed into a vague rectangle. All right, well, we're all hip on moussaka now, so let's just get this started. May as well fill up both shelves, because I don't really have anything else to be doing with those shelves right at this moment. Throw that box over there, and then let's get a price set on this. So you're saying $13.88. How about $13.99 for that? Thank you very much. And then what else was going to go in here? Oh, yeah, the scallops. Do I actually have any scallops? I don't think I actually even have any anymore. All right, let me grab this box. Also, I need to think of something that's going to live over there, but we won't stress that today. Oh, the kids accidentally restocked that because I didn't clear the thing. Dang it, kids. I mean, good job. No, really, good job. I just, I didn't actually want to put anything back there, and we're out of the new coffee. So what did I just say to myself? New coffee, scallops, honey. I thought I just ordered honey. I'll get some more, and that's a big chunk of my money. Big chunk of my money gone right there. I got 340 left for the day. All right, well, get the place open for a start. Let's start to make some money around here. Um, no, not that one yet. I want to I wanna think about the room temperature milk. Not very hard because it kind of grosses me out, but I want to think about the room temperature milk. Okay, the scallop potatoes, because we're pretty sure these are scallop potatoes, can go in there. And then when we get new items, I can just kind of renegotiate this case a little more. But that case makes much more sense now. Yeah, you're into some scallops. Are they, ma'am, are they scallop potatoes or are they scallops? I'm pretty sure they're scallop potatoes. They got cheese all over them. That's not traditionally you, something you would do with actual scallops. Also, this is a new record for the number of times I've said scallop in a single day. Okay, how are we doing here? I'm selling a product without selling its price. Which one? 
Which one? I'm pretty sure... Oh, it's the T! I never set the green T. You know what, guys? You can just kind of have that. Nobody wants it anyway. How about $6.99 on that? Oh, it's the T. Okay. Yeah, you're right. I didn't set the price on that. You're right, Kate. The cereal's looking good, though. Uh, you're having some spaghetti instead of cereal. I'm still going to tell you to have a wonderful cereal day, and your dress is awesome. So I got to ditch this sugar at some point and figure out what... Wow! Who bought all my salt? Seriously? How salty do you want to be? Because this is like the sugar shelf. Yeah, it's, no, I know. It's wicked fun to say, lady. You're just, hit, you're just standing there saying, sugar shelf, sugar shelf. I'll get you some more sugar. Hang on. Okay, for now, just because I can't think of anything else to do with the room temperature milk, I'm just going to put it in storage and they can just put it back where it used to live on the same shelf with the potatoes and the whatnot. I am liking my little renegotiation here. Ooh, I see you almost sold out of the discount Sprite there. I could maybe get that extra bottle of water in there at some point. Okay, I'll have a think about that. So cakes and candies over with the soda makes total sense. This shelf, I'll figure it out as we go along. There's the room temperature milk going in there. Ugh, disgusting. Maybe we should just put more potatoes over there. It's good. There's only, the thing only holds two things of potatoes. And then these extra shelves here, I'll just kind of figure it out as we go along. What are you... Uh, whatever you are, go away. I think those might be scallops, just in case they are. I don't want the kids restocking that. That is probably an excellent place to call it on Supermarket Simul Simulator for today. I'm out of cheese again. Guys, do please keep the comments coming in. Let me know what you're thinking of this. And hey, if you enjoyed the video, do please leave a like down below. It does cheer me up no end when people do that. And if you're new to the channel, maybe just checking it out for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button. See more of this ridiculous nonsense. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours, and we'll see you next time. You know what, kids? I'm the camp counselor who's going to teach you the truth, all right? None of this manby-pamby kumbaya nonsense, all right? We are learning the truth here. The truth is death and disappointment and theft. Basically, I did the theft. Everything else is on you. Robot, how do we rescue you? I, I, don't, I don't know how to rescue you. I'm also not sure I ever knew you were a woman. So, once again... The fish are on fire, and uh, you're on fire. Isabella is, in fact, on fire. The YouTube award ceremony for the best YouTubers of the time. I think this may be a mild exaggeration. I look like I'm paralyzed with fear and or hunger up on stage there. <laughs>